I was recently talking to a remanufacturer of electric power steering racks and I asked them, what's the number one failure on the racks that lead to the complete failure of the electric power steering system? And do you know what they said? They said it's the boots on the rack itself. So they noticed on the rack that either there's an abrasion, a tear in the boot itself. Also, they noticed that either the clamps or some of the crimping elements that hold the boot to the rack itself have failed. Well, what happens after that? Well, when the rack goes in and out to change the angle of the steering, what's happening is that it's creating vacuum pressure inside and also pressure on the positive side. In other words, when that boot collapses, all that debris and contamination inside is forced into the very expensive parts of the rack. When it extends out, well, that vacuum pressure sucks in all that road debris, grime, and moisture to eventually damage the rack. So what does this information matter to you? Well, if you're replacing an inner or outer tie rod, make sure that you're paying attention to the clamps on the boot itself. Make sure if you see any abrasions or any issues with the boot itself on a vehicle with electric power steering rack, make sure that you're servicing it, replacing it, and making sure that it is properly sealed. Otherwise, well, you're dooming that electric power steering rack to catastrophic failure. I'm Andrew Markell. Thank you very much.